the legislature has not yet held a hearing to investigate the Department of Corrections' false claims justifying prison expansion. We are holding our own hearing on prison expansion. Over $2 billion in prison expansion in one year? Where are you at, Governor Corbin? Oh, we have a state government that is pushing forward with prison construction, building two new prisons for $400 million. The investment should be made in the liberation of people, not in their confinement. I'm a taxpayer. We need to stop funneling the taxpayers' money into prisons and reinvest it back into our children and reinvest it back into our schools and reinvest it back into our communities. I'm here as a mother whose son has been locked up because of police corruption sanctioned by prosecutorial zeal. Numbers can't capture the pain our communities are feeling now. Today we come to fight back, and we will not let you keep doing this to our communities. We have a message for our legislators. Serve the people or get out of the way. Yes. Every brick you put in the wall of a prison takes a book from the hands of a child. Every prefabricated concrete cell you had on takes away someone's future. We know how to make our community safer. I said, would y'all rather have a prison or a school? We need jobs so Pennsylvanians can support themselves and their families. We need safe, affordable housing and healthy, affordable food. We need to invest in our schools ones that don't look like prisons, but actually look like schools. If we meet those needs, we won't even have to think about building prisons. That's our vision. That's our trump card. That's why we know we're going to win. So if not now, then wait. And if not us, then who? Somebody said earlier, this is a movement. We ain't stopping. I'm a member of Decarcerate PA, and I'm going wherever they go. To the General Assembly of Pennsylvania, this movement is not going anywhere. Decarcerate, be it! Decarcerate, be it! Decarcerate, be it!